All right, so explain to me uh, the legal action that y'all are taking on behalf of uh, Northwest Bible Baptist Church in Illinois. Well, Northwest Bible Baptist Church would like to resume their in-person services, like I think many churches across this country would. And they understood the need to kind of pull back for a little while and see the effects of this virus and, and to maintain that kind of virtual environment for a time and a temporary period. But it seems like the longer things go on, the less temporary this is becoming. And not only that, but less equally applied that these restrictions seem to be having here. As you mentioned, look, if you can go shop at a big box store down the street, you should be able to engage in, in worship services following the same safety procedures that you would follow at Kroger or Home Depot or, or whatever you might be going to as you would at church. And for the governor to suggest that just because you are at a church or somehow religious, you're then incapable of following those safety and health procedures, well, I think that's, that's discrimination. Well, it seems obvious that it is to me. I mean, this seems like it should be a cut and dry case because they're targeting churches just because they're churches, not because the behavior uh, is specifically targeted no matter what institution you're talking about. It's just churches here. The argument here in favor of the governor's ban on church services with more than 50 people is going to be one about police powers of states, especially during times of crisis. How do you respond to that? Well, there's no pandemic exception to the United States Constitution. It's not like the First Amendment handed in a sick note and gets to take the month off because there's a virus running around. Uh, this is something that we just found out again over the weekend in Kentucky, where uh, we applied for and received a temporary restraining order for a church there to hold in-person services this weekend. And Judge Tattenhove was very clear. He said, look, we've got to be vigilant in terms of defending the Constitution, and it still applies whether we like it or not in times of crisis, and perhaps even more so during the time of a pandemic. It's very important that even during this difficult time, we not only protect the safety and health of our friends and our neighbors, and especially those we go to church with, uh, but that we also maintain fidelity to our Constitution. That's what governs our country, and it's very important that we uphold it.